Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make our hooded unicorn poncho in 6 to 12 month size. The yarn that I am using is Mellow Spun DK Weight Yarn and the colors that I'm using for this tutorial is the Dusty Peach, the Cream, and the Grey. So you'll need two of your main color which is our cream and then one each of your contrasting colors. You'll need two hook sizes for this pattern, so a 5.5 millimeter as well as a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And these are my Furls crochet hooks and I will have a link in the description box with a coupon code on where you can put, purchase the hooks as well as the yarn. The hooded unicorn poncho pattern also includes baby and child size socks and I have a separate video that will walk you through our six to 12 month size. So I'll have the link in the description box and also the link for the pattern will be there. The poncho pattern includes our six to 12 month size all the way up to adult sizes. So let's begin with our 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or the hook that you need to meet the gauge. I'm gonna make a slip knot and put this on the hook. Now we'll chain out 22. Okay, so once you have your 22 chains, we're gonna start working our stitch pattern. So we're gonna skip our first chain, work into the second chain, a single crochet and a double crochet, all into the same chain. We'll now skip a chain and work a single and a double in the next chain. We'll skip a chain, work a single and a double in the next chain. And we'll just repeat that across, ending with only a single crochet in the final stitch, but I'll work across and meet you up for that. So you should be coming up to your final two chains and we're just gonna work a single crochet into the last chain. I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. And now, in this very first stitch, we'll work a single crochet and a double crochet. We'll now skip over the double crochet from our previous row and in the single crochet, we will work a single and a double crochet. Okay, so we're always gonna be skipping this double and then we'll be working the single and the double into that single crochet of the previous row. So this is a really simple stitch pattern, but it really creates a beautiful looking pattern. But we're just using your basic crochet stitches to create the look. And the stitch, I want the stitch nice and loose. If you are a tight crocheter, you're going to wanna go up a hook size. You want the pattern stitch to be nice and loose, not too tight. Almost giving it a lacy sort of look. Okay, we're just continuing to work across the row okay and then you should be coming up to those last two stitches that single is going to be a little squished down here but we're just ending with a single crochet in the last single crochet Okay, and then we will just be repeating that to get our length that's needed for this size. 
So if you measure it out, it should be close to that six and a half inch mark. The blocking is going to help to stretch that out to the six and a half inches. So you could give yours a measure now just to make sure that you're pretty close. I'm at about six and a quarter and then with blocking it will be six and a half. Okay. So now what you're going to do is work a total of 47 rows or 16 and a half inches. So you want to just measure out. You're going to make two rectangles and that is the size you need them to be. And again, you can block these up once you've finished working up your rectangles to make sure that their sizing is accurate. So I'll just be repeating row two now throughout the pattern. And once I have my two rectangles completed, I will meet you up again to show you how to do the seaming. Okay, so I've been working away on my piece. Now I'm just gonna show you how to count out your rows. We can count them out by two. You can see sort of your ridges here. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 47 rows. And that measures approximately 16 and a half inches. Okay, so if your gauge has been off, you're wanting your piece to measure about that 16 and a half inch mark, and the width will be six and a half inches. I'm just finishing it off here. And then you can fasten off with a tail for sewing. So now once you have your two rectangular pieces made, what you can do is either steam or wet block your pieces to measurements. And that's gonna make sure that they're both the same size, that the measurements are correct, so the poncho is gonna work out together. I have had, um, this is an, one of my older designs, so I've had um, comments seeing that the, the neck opening maybe wasn't too big or their sizing was off. So if you block these to measurements, you're gonna be sure that everything is gonna work out as it should. Okay, so I'll have you ending, that 47th row will be our the right side of our work. So row one is the right side and we're finishing off on the right side. So I'm have, I have my right sides facing right now and I have my tail here that I fastened off with. And first, the first step for seaming is we wanna put this into your L shape, okay? So we're gonna be lining up one of our panels to the bottom right side of this panel. You should have that six and a half inches of width here. And then what I'm gonna do is simply fold my piece over and I'm gonna sew that it is right sides facing. And you can double check again that you have your six and a half inches before you start sewing that. So now we'll take our tail, our yarn needle, and we're just gonna sew this. Just use a whip stitch and we're just gonna sew this together. Okay, so I'm gonna work that across off camera and then I'll meet you up for the next step. Once you've sewn that across, you're just gonna weave in your tail. Just make sure to hide that through the stitches. You wanna weave it in one direction and then you can take it and weave it back in the opposite. Okay, so this is how that seam is looking. The next step is probably the trickiest, what I find people get the most confused with putting together a poncho. So if you look at it this way, we have this long rectangular piece we've sewn um, to the end of this one. We also have this long rectangular piece. We want to sew to this section of it. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece 
and we're basically going to sew it here, okay? So it's hard to show that, you know, in a nice picture, but a video, it's really easy to explain. So you have your L shape here. You're gonna take the top of this rectangle and you're gonna sew it over here to this rectangle, okay, in this place. But now we also want that they're right sides facing. So then if you take this and you fold it, like this, we're gonna get the right sides facing. I want my longer tail. You also wanna make sure that this is your six and a half inches. So again, you can give it a measure just to make sure that when you sew it, you're doing the six and a half, okay? And, and like I say, blocking that's gonna make sure that that measurement also is accurate. And you're just gonna take your yarn needle and you're gonna do the same thing that we just did. We're just gonna whip stitch this together. Okay. So I will just complete this off camera and then we'll meet up again. Okay, so I've woven in my tails and now let's just put the poncho now. So this is how the poncho is going to look at this point. You can always steam your edges if they're not laying flat, but this is now how it's going to look. So next we'll work on the hood. So we need to join in with our yarn right here. Okay, so we're joining in chain one. And now we're gonna evenly work a single crochet stitches around our opening. Okay, so you're gonna just, there's a space that you're gonna see as you work around. You want to crochet into that and you just wanna make sure that when you look at the side that it's not bunching. So you want a nice smooth edge. Your stitch count around um, doesn't necessarily matter. You just wanna make sure that you have an odd number. So make sure you count and end with an odd number of stitches. Okay, so I have a total of 59 stitches. I worked 29 and then I've worked 30 down this side. So one sort of in the corner and then another 29 so that I have an odd number. I'm just going to slip stitch in that first stitch to join. I'm going to chain one and then I'm just going to start working around in my pattern. So I'm gonna work that single double in the first stitch. I'm gonna skip a stitch and I'll work a single and a double. I'll skip a stitch and we're just working, whoops, all the way around. But once I get to the last stitch, we're going to turn and work back in rows so that our hood does have that opening, okay? Skip a stitch, single, double. So I'm gonna work that all the way around and I'll just meet you up on the other side. Okay, so I'm coming to my last two stitches. We're gonna skip a stitch. Work one single crochet in the final stitch. I'll chain one and turn. Work a single crochet and a double. Skip a stitch in the next single crochet. We'll do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the double. We'll do a single 
and a double in the next. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. Worked all the way around again. I'm going to end with a single in the last single crochet stitch, chain one and turn. Okay, and we're just going to keep working back and forth like this. You can see how the hood's coming together and we're going to work the hood until we have about seven inches. So you would measure from here. It's going to be a long piece that we're going to continue to work. And we're looking at about seven inches for this size. Now follow along with your pattern for the size you're working on and just continue working that in rows until you reach the length you need. Okay, so I've been working rows of the hood until I have reached seven inches. And now what I'll do is fasten off with a long tail for sewing the hood together. So now to sew the hood, we want to put our right sides facing. I'm just going to put the poncho inside out to do this. You could also slip stitch this together. That would be fine as well, but I am just going to use my yarn needle and I'm going to do a whip stitch. You're just going to go through each stitch across. Okay, so I'm going right under each of the stitches. And I'll work that all the way across. Okay, once you've worked all the way across, you just want to weave in your tail and then you can snip that off. So you're just gonna weave it one way. Just hide it along your stitches. And then you can weave back in the opposite direction. Okay, so now let's put it back so that our right side is facing outwards. And you're going to see now how this is starting to come together. So the hood will fold over. And it's looking like this. Okay, so now we're going to do some edging around our hood. And we're going to create a, a piece on this side and a piece on this side that's going to come out to form the buttonhole and then we'll attach the button here. Okay, so what you'll want to do is make a slip knot, putting it on your hook. We're still using our 5.5 millimeter and I'll get you to chain four. Now we're going to join right in here I'm just gonna slip stitch that through I'll chain one and now we're gonna single crochet in each space around the hood so again, our hook is just gonna easily go in. We're gonna have a larger space and a smaller space, but we're just gonna single crochet all the way around the hood. And now as we get to the bottom here, we are going to single crochet and then we'll chain five. So now what we'll do is turn and we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Cross the chain. So we should have four stitches. And then we're going to single crochet back in each stitch along the hood. So the hood will be folded over, so this will be your nice right side edge. OK, 
Okay, so I am going to work all the way around the hood. I'll meet you on the other side and we'll go across this chain. Okay, so I'm finishing up with my last stitch and then we're coming to the chain. We're gonna work a single crochet in each chain across. So you, we've got four chains that we started with. You should have four stitches. Okay, so now you can see we've made this and we're gonna make, just turn this into a buttonhole. So I'm gonna fasten off with a long tail so that I can sew the pieces together. Just pull that through. Okay, so this, the hood will fold over and then we'll get a yarn needle. Now I'm gonna weave in my tail and then I'll show you how to sew that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the tail onto my yarn needle and just forming a triangle. I'll just sew this together. Then you can just weave the tail. Okay, and then we're gonna take a 25 millimeter button. The button can just get sewn right to the base here, and then that will fold over like this. Okay, so just take a yarn needle and some of your yarn Then I'm just gonna take my tails and weave those in. Okay, so you wanna make sure that this is very well secured. You may even decide you want to admit, omit the button completely for a baby for safety reasons. You could instead just have this, um, instead of having this piece come down, just join your hood all together around so that um, you don't have a button at all. I have shown you with the button for the larger sizes, so you see how to do that. Now also with the larger sizes, I have woven through a drawstring and attached that to add some color and detail, but again, I do not suggest doing that for your baby size. You don't want anything that could potentially be a strangling hazard, so I would not recommend adding anything like that to this baby size that we're working on. Okay, so next we're gonna work on the pocket. We want to essentially make a square piece. So I am going to chain out a total of 16 to get started.
Okay, and now in the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single and a double crochet. We'll skip a chain, work a single and a double crochet. And we're just repeating this across. Repeat this across until you have two chains remaining and then we'll add that single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so two chains and we'll single crochet in the last. I'll chain one in turn and we'll work a single and a double in the first. Skip the double crochet and a single and a double. So just as we've worked all the way through this pattern, we're just working the stitch pattern. Okay, so we'll end with a single crochet in that final stitch, chain one and turn. And we're just gonna repeat row two throughout the pattern now. Okay, so you want to give your piece a measure because you do want the pocket to be square. So I'm measuring about four and a half inches. So I want to continue working until I have about four and a half inches worth of length. So if your gauge is a little off, this is that's just a simple way. So measure once you get a few rows here, measure across and then just continue working until you have a square. Okay, so I've worked up about my four and a half inches. And I'm gonna fasten this off with a long tail for sewing to the poncho. So we'll wanna weave in this starting tail. You could always give it a little steam block if you'd like, but mine's turned out pretty good, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So I'm just gonna weave in this tail to get it out of the way. Okay, so always when you're finishing off here, the row here you're finishing off, I'm gonna have you work that as your right side. And you wanna position it so that you can sew this bottom section. And we're gonna go about a half an inch from the edges. So the pocket is just going on, so your openings of the pocket will be here. You'll need to tack that piece down and sew this section. Now the other way you could do it, I'm just looking at the rows of the poncho here. And I think if we place it here, that will look um, will look better with the rows of the poncho. So I've just switched that around. So now what you're gonna do, is just start sewing. So you're just grabbing a little piece of yarn from your poncho. You can get some, and then you're just coming up through the side of the pocket. Okay, so I'm gonna sew this all the way down, turn and sew up the side. Okay, so once you have worked that all the way across, then all we need to do is weave in this tail trim and then I want you to sew
just the top here. Okay, so then the little pocket opens like this. I'm gonna weave those tails in, I'll meet you up again. Okay, so for the larger sizes, I just folded the pockets down and added some buttons just for a decorative touch to the front. But because this one is fairly small, I wouldn't suggest doing that unless you wanna use maybe some smaller buttons, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. So next I'm gonna show you how to make our little unicorn horn. You're gonna want a stitch marker as you work and we're gonna drop down to the 4.5 millimeter hook. So we're gonna begin with a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your index finger three times. Take your hook, sliding it through, grabbing your first loop and pulling it. We'll chain one, we'll work six single crochet in the ring. Now to close up your ring, pull the tail. You're gonna see one loop pulling in and the other loop sticking out. The loop that's pulled, give it a tug. Pull that closed. Two, three, four, five. Sometimes it's tough to see that first stitch. So it's right here. gonna work a single crochet into that first stitch. Okay, and now I'm gonna stick the stitch marker. So that marks the first stitch of this round. Okay, so I've worked all the way around now. I've worked six stitches and we will continue to move the stitch marker up as we work around putting it in the first stitch of every round. Now we're gonna work, we're gonna work all of the next rounds in the back loop only. So there is the first. We'll put our marker. Okay, and a single crochet in the back loop of the next, and then we're going to do an increase. So our increase pattern will be one in each of the next two, and then two in the next. Go one. Two, and in the last stitch we'll be working two. Okay, and then the next round will be just one in every stitch around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay so you should have eight stitches for that round. We'll remove the stitch marker 
And our next round will work three stitches before we do an increase. So the increase pattern will work in that manner. One more additional stitch before the increase. So one, two, three, and then we'll add two in the next stitch, back loop, and then one, two, three, Okay, so now we've increased 10 stitches, and then the next round, we will just work one in every stitch. And get that put back in. Okay, I've worked all the way around. We're going to do another increase. I'm just gonna stick my tail. And you can use a little bit of polyester fiber fill to stuff your horn as you go. So there's one, two. So let me get this back and marked. So now we'll be doing four stitches before the increase. So one, two, and then we'll crochet four. One, two, three, four, and then we will add two in the last stitch. And the next round we'll be working one in every stitch. Okay and for this size I'm just going to go around one more time at the 12 stitch point. Okay once you've worked all the way around we'll just slip stitch in the next stitch to join it up. Fastening off with a long tail for sewing. That's And I'm just going to stuff it with just a little bit of polyester fiber fill. If you don't have any, I'm sure you can just use some scrap bits of yarn or something to stuff it with. But I have lots of this always on hand. Okay, so for the larger sizes, you can continue making this um, bigger, or even if you want this horn a little bit bigger, just continue working some rows. Then you are gonna find that center seam on your hood, and you're just gonna sew it on here. So I like to just sort of go down, pick up some of the hood and go through only the one loop. I'm not going through both. It won't matter a big deal, but so I'm just going through this loop here. And you want to just sew it all the way around. Okay, so I've already made one ear and they're really quick and easy to make. We're gonna start out with a chain three and I'm using the 4.5 millimeter hook. And we'll single crochet in the second chain from the hook. 
and the next. Chain one and turn, we'll work two in each stitch across, two single crochet. Chain one and turn, work one single crochet in each stitch across, chain one and turn, and again, we'll just work one in every stitch across. Chain one, and we'll work two in the first stitch, one in each stitch across to the last stitch, We'll work two in the last, chain one and turn, work one in each stitch across. Okay, and once you get to the end, we're gonna add another stitch and then we're gonna single crochet up the side. So one, two, three, four, five, and then in the top here we will add two stitches and then work back down the side. So one, two, three, four, five and add an additional stitch for the corner and we'll slip stitch to join and then fasten off with a tail for sewing to the hood. Okay, so then what I'd like to do pinch that bottom of the ear to give it its shape and we're going to sew the ears beside the horns. Okay, so they're going to go on each side of the horn like this. Okay, so let's start out by sewing the bottom of the ear together. Okay, so that will give our ear its shape. And then you can come over to the side of the horn and we're just gonna sew the ear. Just like to work my way around the ear like this and then you can weave in that tail and do the same thing on the other. Okay so the next step is going to be to start attaching our fringe. So I'm using for the size the dusty peach but here are just some other color options that I like. This would be your orchid, um, this is mauve and I also have the soft pink so really any color you want but I decided to do this one a little different than the other ponchos that I've done so I'm going with the dusty peach. So I'm using two pieces of my peach with a strand of the Dove Heather. So this is six inch strands that I've cut for the bangs and I've just been filling in the pieces in the front so I'm basically doing three across and I'm just filling in so that the bangs are fairly thick. So what you want to do is take two of our peach and also I suggest pulling the yarn from the outside of the ball so the yarn isn't too crinkly. So just put them together like this, fold them in half and you're going to insert your hook 
through the hood, grab your yarn, pull it through, take your loop and pull it through and tighten it. So I'm going with three across, just working it till we have a fairly full bang. And you can always trim your bangs once you've attached them all to kind of get whatever look that you would like. This is the more time consuming part of the project. So you might just wanna sit and do this while watching TV. Okay, so you're just gonna want to get that you now have a nice full bang in the front. And like I say, you can trim these a little bit if you don't want them hanging down in front. And then what we'll do is work up the back as well. And I'm gonna cut my pieces a little bit longer for the back. So we're gonna do 10 inches rather than six inches. So you can just start pulling pieces off. Now you do want two peach to a gray. You just wanna measure out 10. And then you can just fold back and forth to cut off a section. Okay, so as you're working down the back of the hood, just sort of like I did the front, I'm gonna do three across. I'm starting just going down the center and I'll go down part of the back as well. You may wanna fill in a few more on the sides just to fill it out. And then also you'll want to add the fringe around the poncho as well. So you'll fill the entire poncho all the way around. We're doing the same thing. We're gonna take two peach and one gray. I like to start down here at the center point. Pulling it through. Now you can trim these. You could actually even make them shorter. This is the small size. I've made these a little shorter than I would the bigger sizes, but once they're all attached, you can just go ahead and trim them all so they're about the same. Also a steamer is a great way to finish them. Give them a nice finished look. Now because I'm pulling from the outside of the ball, they are looking really nice and straight. And you just wanna sort of evenly space them out. If you look on the side, I'm gonna, gonna just put them through those bigger, bigger loops, I think, as I work. You could do multiple colors, you could do rainbow, really anything that you would like for your colors. These I definitely feel like are maybe a little bit long for this size, so I haven't cut too many I may end up only cutting these ones maybe six inches maybe I'll cut them a little bit shorter so I'm going to continue working now attaching all of the fringe off camera and then when I've completed it I'll meet you up to show you the finished look. okay so I finished attaching all the fringe to the front I worked all the way down the back to about this section so that it hangs nicely down the hood. And I attached all of my fringe down to the sides. And then I just gave the fringe a trim just so that it looks nice and even. So 
So now the larger sizes do also have a string attached, but if you attach anything like that to the smaller sizes, you are required to stitch them in place so that they don't, um, so by law you have to stitch that in place so that it's not a strangling hazard for a little one. So I completely just left it off this one because it is a six to 12 month size. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.